The PM9. There's not much to say about this weapon. Except for the fact that it's underrated as fuck. How many people do you see, Modern Warfare 3 commentators, or just players in general while you're playing Modern Warfare 3, using this weapon? Not many, and I find it ironic because it's the last submachine that you unlock, and you would expect it to be really good. But people seem to be a little discouraged by the recoil of this weapon, but they also look over the fact that the damage is amazing and the rate of fire, it has built-in rapid fire. It's a really good fucking weapon. I would highly recommend you test it out. And this was a gameplay I got during my stream last night. If you aren't a follower of my stream, there'll be a link in the description below. I really like to interact with my subscribers. This was when I was actually going for a gameplay. A viewer of mine said, you know, put on the PM9 with extended mags and rapid fire. And I was like, well, shit, I've never used it. So I will have to unlock everything. So let me start leveling it up, you know, getting the proficiencies, getting the attachments. And this was actually the first game I ever used this weapon. There was no proficiencies, no attachments, and this is a naked PM9 48 gun streak. And then I switch to the P90 after I die on the streak, and I get another Moab. So this is a double Moab, 75 kills gun only. I couldn't call on either Moab because of the fact that the enemy put an EMP up, and that just shows how garbage they are running fucking support. I, man, oh, every time I say support, I just want to go on a fucking rant. It, Take support, please don't put something like that in the next Call of Duty. We're already seeing horses, and we're seeing, like, there might be laser beams instead of the ACR. Fucking no recoil, there'll actually be a fucking laser beam. I, man, please. I love this game. I've only been playing it for one year now. Don't fuck it up for me already. Don't fuck it up for me already. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to do anything. Talk about Black Ops 2. I'll wait until we get a multiplayer trailer, something like that. But some tips, man. When you're using a weapon like this on a map like this, it's a pretty damn big map. See, right here, I'm just like, these guys are spawning on A. I don't want to rush them because they're going to have the advantage over me. They're on the stairs. They can have a really good head glitch. I'm just going to use Marksman Pro to my uh, advantage, and I'm going to take out the MP9 and pick off some long shots with it. And that's what I, a class setup, that's, I would recommend using something like that. An MP9 is your secondary, and there's a host migration right here. Uh, use a weapon like the MP9 as your secondary, so if you do get caught in a long-range engagement, you can just pull it out and uh, you know take them out it, this weapon is really bad at long range due to the recoil that's the main reason I'm sure it probably has good damage over range because it has an amazing rate of fire and has a really good damage it's has a built-in rapid fire basically uh, but the recoil is just horrible so I would recommend trying to get flank your targets if you see that them they're coming or you see that they're just hanging out in a certain area try to come up behind them but be expecting them like right here you see every time i come around the corner i aim down sight just in case there's a guy already waiting for me and marksman man that's a fucking great perk i hope a perk like that's in the next call of duty i wish there was something like specialist i love specialist using my gun only but uh yeah i would dress just using this weapon if you have everything unlocked rapid fire and extended mags would be a great combination with the dual attachment proficiency and if not Honestly, it doesn't need rapid fire, so extended mags and silencer is probably another great, uh, you know, recommendation from myself to use. And just please, start with using this weapon a little bit more. I want to run into people using this weapon. You know, I don't have an impact of 100,000 viewers, but this weapon's pretty good. And I'm telling you right now, if you give it a try, you'll be pretty impressed. Because I've gotten quite a few Moabs with this weapon, and this was by far the best one. This is honestly... One of my best gameplays, as you can see, I just fucking matrix that guy. I'm known to do stuff like that. I'll see that grenade coming, and my reaction time is so good. And I'm not being cocky right here. This is just the truth. I saw that grenade coming, and I said, whoop, move right the fuck out the way. Because he would have stuck me, and I would have died. I probably wouldn't have been very mad. I probably wouldn't have been mad at all. I didn't rage. I was just getting annoyed, you know. And that's something I want to talk about real quick. I have, like, five, five seconds to talk about it. I don't really get fucking mad. I, I get annoyed and I'll cuss and stuff, but I never scream. I've never really screamed at Call of Duty. I, I mean, I have, but I haven't done it in a long time, especially with this new connection. It really helps. Playing on a good connection, guys, is fucking amazing. But once again, follow the stream down below. I'll be streaming around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up rating. And peace the fuck out, YouTube.
securing Charlie. Sweat, beau travail. 